Well, hello there, friends. I'm your host, the Dread Pirate Space Buns. And, um, this video gets a, this might be a little bit emotional warning. Hence why I'm not wearing very much makeup, really, at all, because it seems like a waste. Because I'm, I'm going to do my best to get through this. But like all in, I thought it was kind of just an important thing to share. I realized that for some reason, I have been gifted with understanding of loss, like no other. And it kind of sucks at times. And I spent a lot of years trying to make sense of it. And I guess the best thing I can think of is that maybe if I share that and I, I just like talk about some of this, it will help me, but maybe it'll help other people too, because... I guess over the years, I've just, I've realized that, like, wow, it just happens everywhere to everyone, and it sucks no matter what. I don't even know exactly how many years ago it was because keeping count just seems more painful, if we're being honest. Um, I'm going to say, like, five-ish years ago, if I'm wrong somebody that watches this for sure is going to tell me and I know it, but, um, I lost my grandfather and that was today. And, um, that one hurt. I, I don't know. That's the best way I can say it. He was a great friend. Um, and I guess I figured that since it's the year of hindsight, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, they say that in hindsight, you can see a lot of things about people or things that people did that you just didn't notice before. And wow, that was one of those situations for how true it was, you know, because he would do these things and, and you didn't see them as very big or important back then. But, you know, I, I remember times like going to the Disney parks and... I was always, I was always rather interested when he'd talk about, like, the film stuff he knew. And, and you know, the behind-the-scenes stuff he knew, or he'd show me stuff. I was always like, well, how do they do that? Like, what is going on? So, you know, when we went to Disney, he would take me to the little behind-the-scenes exhibit and say, oh, let's go watch, let's go see what's going on. You know, we'd go back there, and we'd go learn how to draw Disney characters together. And then... I don't know, as a kid, I didn't think much of those things, you know, that we did. And now I look back on them and I'm like, wow, how they shaped, you know, who I am. How they changed who I became. You know, I... I kind of laugh at the things I know about creating certain things of behind the scenes, even sound effects, other things, just because he would show me so many things. I just... I was like, cool, <laughs> what have you got this week? Like, let's do this. And it was always something fun. Even as a kid, I, I was very strange. I spent a lot of time on the Disney DIY section. And uh, bless your printer, Papa. I am so sorry for what I did to that thing. I realize now I'm like, you went through two printers while I was a kid. Do you know how much, like... I was probably all the Disney DIY, and I used to have these folders. They were very organized, I will have you know, as to, like, what materials they used in the DIY project. The most infamous of which, I wanted him to collect six refrigerator boxes from the neighborhood. I assumed you could pick these up by the trash, like, no problem. I was, like, six. Anyways, we were going to take these boxes, and then we were going to clean them, which I look back and I'm like, I don't know how we were going to do that. And then we needed, you know, a bunch of tape, like a lot of tape, and we were going to take them all together. We were going to make a house. And if we could pick up some extra boxes, we could make the things that you put inside of the house out of cardboard. One of those things that, you know, we, we quite never got around to that. <laughs> There were plenty of things, though, that, like, were way more feasible that he totally would be like, yeah, let's make that happen, let's do that. And and he he nourished my creativity and my imagination and my 
my drive and my will to try and do things in ways that I, I don't think would have been possible if, you know, it hadn't been for him. Especially those things. You know, um, I have talked and mentioned that I did some cake decorating. And he, he went and did that with me. More or less because I was too nervous to go by myself. Um, I do think he kind of enjoyed it too, but I never actually knew if he was just being punished for me. I will say though, when we finished, he was like, here's all the cake stuff. That's, that's yours. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it was awesome though. He, he was a lot of fun to do that with and it, that's one of those things like I wouldn't change. I loved going to cake decorating every Saturday with him and, and it did change the entire path of my life. I worked a few jobs in that. I I love cake still. And one day we will do that. Forever. That will be special to me because I got to experience that. I mean, not only because of him, with him. And, and you know, I joke about how I was going to be the next Steph Goldman. <laughs> I remember I just came over by Grandpa's house one day and I was trying to like figure out what I wanted to do with myself. And what's really funny is I was like a sophomore and we had taken the, uh, we had taken some aptitude test my freshman year, which I realized in hindsight, I'm like, the test told me I could be a hand model and it never saw me. It just asked me questions. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, but, but that's not the point of this. The point is I got really determined to figure out, like I needed to figure out what I was going to do. So I came over to my grandpa's one weekend and um, he was like, oh, hey, I, I found this new show and I want to show it to you. And he showed me Ace of Cakes. And I just remember watching what they did to cakes and being like, yo, that is some of the coolest thing I've ever seen. They, they sculpted out of the cake. Like, how can you do that? That's crazy. And that, uh, that is what turned that into that. And from there he found out that we could take classes and we did it and... And yeah, honestly, even those, those classes of cake decorating, they taught me so much about myself because over four classes, I don't know, they didn't last, you know, like a, a normal school year, but they were classes. Um, I, I definitely, I learned that I could do things I didn't think I could do that I didn't think I was going to be able to do. I grew through those classes and was able to see my own growth because our instructor was really cool and my grandpa was really cool and they took a lot of pictures and as you know visually it was like wow look at what you can do like that's cool that that helped given other situations that I had been in I kind of went through life with the belief that it would always be easier if you got the chance to say goodbye I mean obviously from where I sat on the fence the grass is greener. The grass is greener if you if you simply got that chance. It'd be so much easier. And um yeah. I got that opportunity. Didn't make a damn thing easier. Like sorry, but I it didn't. It sucked. And I guess what sucked the worst? Ah, sorry, I told you I'm gonna try so hard. Was that like there came a point where I couldn't really stand it and I decided that I was just going to go outside. <laughs> and I had this realization outside and it was kind of this big thing and um, it was one of the things I talked to my therapist about that my therapist was like, oh, oh, oh darling, you have got some over empathy problems. <laughs> But I just remember standing outside of the hospital and thinking how crazy it was. That like everything inside of me felt broken, destroyed, and so sad because I knew like everything was going to be different from that. Oh, I'm going to get it together. <laughs> I knew everything was going to be different from that moment, you know? Nothing is ever going to be the same. You know, he always made us food. He always 
did fun things. He was he was always there. <laughs> and so yeah, I uh I'm sitting there destroyed. Having probably one of the hardest times of my life. And a family comes out with a new baby. And there are other people that you can tell they're they're excited, they're happy, you know, they get other people that were getting there, seemed worried, you know, you just, it, I don't know, it, it seemed overwhelming in a way, but it's looking around and you realize just like everybody had their own set of things. And it's one of those things that gets said, you know, just because you feel a certain way, it doesn't mean the world stops spinning, it doesn't mean the rest of eternity and existence stopped or felt that way too. I guess it served as a good reminder for me that other people can be feeling things that we don't realize or that we don't necessarily see and even as an empath we can't always tell. And, you know, I guess it served as a good reminder to me to how much happiness was important in life. In a way, he, he did so much for everyone else. He did so much to make sure everyone else was happy. And he still find, found time to do things that made him happy, even if other people didn't understand. And I guess all that ever did was inspire me because he was unforgettingly himself undeniably unashamed and it was awesome he was my hero especially for that you guys sometimes this happens and it hurts and i wish with everything inside of me that i could tell you that someday this gets better or it goes away or you get used to it but you really don't little things and they'll just make you think sometimes it'll make you cry because life changes and unfortunately it changes and then we don't know where we're going until we get there sometimes change and growth and and these life things they suck and they hurt and this was a life lesson that came at the expense of a lot of pain. A lot of sadness and a lot of tears that have lasted for a lot of years. But dang, I have learned a lot in remembering everything he did. In remembering everything he said. And um, I guess part of this is that I hope that my... Uh, Part of my hope here is to, to help heal myself and make myself feel better about things that really still hurt and suck. <laughs> Part of my hope is definitely that some of this can, can end up helping other people that, um, that have to say goodbye. You know, maybe make your own video and just air it out. If you don't want, nobody has to see it. But honestly, I spent a lot of time sitting on a mountain, talking to nothing but the air and the sky, hoping there's someone out there listening. Because sometimes it does make it a little better. Alright, you guys. So, now that I have somewhat maintained myself, um, I guess the point is, you know, life happens, and eventually that bouncy ball just kind of stops, and none of us know when that happens. So, 
yeah, live it. Live it to, to the best of every moment. Make your dreams happen. Live every second like it's going to. Like you're going to make that happen. Believe in it so freaking hardcore. Because honestly, he did. I, he, he was making comics up until the end. There is a binder with them still planned. And I think it's awesome. I love that he taught me to draw. So just remember, tell those people who really help you out, really do something for you, before you don't have the chance to. And just make sure that you give as much love as you can in this world while you're still here. Because gosh darn it, there's not enough love around. There's just not. Alright you guys, Dread Pirate Space Friends is going to sign off before I become a mess. So I thought this might be a little bit more fitting here than an actual outro and I'm calling this therapy sessions and this is where I drove around and listened to some really sad music and let myself cry in the rain and yeah it really did somewhat help and it somewhat helped me make this video because man this sucked mate. Thanks for watching guys. You mean the world and I hope this helps. Thanks for everything you did Papa. I love you and I miss you and I will forever cherish these years and just hope that I can give back some of what you gave me to the world. I miss you.